No, 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 no. This is not a good time to argue, Master. Might I recommend? Far too many of them for that. Mm. Oh, yes, all right. Hello, friends, and welcome back to the channel. Back with another video on how to get the new EA app to show your library and work if you keep getting the message of things are taking longer than usual to load up, hang tight while we try to solve the problem. Don't hang around. Nothing ever happens. This error is pretty stupid and there is no reason it should be doing this. You'll see it up here on this yellow banner. If you see this, that means it's having an issue. And this is how we can fix it. Back when this launcher used to be Origin, it never had this issue and for the most part, it worked as intended. Origin lacked some features, but at least launched your games. I'm not sure why they switched to this dumpster fire, now known as the EA app, but comparatively, it blows. Anyway, so here's the issue. You launch the app, and nothing generates. You can see here the store doesn't work, your library doesn't load, and sometimes you'll get an error 404 message on the games page. It's really frustrating. Luckily for us, the fix is extremely easy to do. It took me a while to hunt through the forums to find this fix, but luckily, I did figure it out. So, super easy to do. Simply launch your task manager, control alt delete, click task manager, then we will look in our processes. You're going to be looking for the EA background service right here with this little pink EA logo. Click on that, click end task, and that's it. Super simple. Now when you go back and launch the EA app, it will load properly and you can use it as normal. As of right now, you do need to do this every time you boot your computer back up which is pretty annoying, but at least it's a pretty quick and simple process so you can at least play the games that you paid for. Another thing you can do periodically is find the EA app updater here in the start menu. Launch this and it will update your app for you. I've done this on occasion a few times and sometimes it gets the app working. It's just for a brief period though. Usually the taking longer issue will return at some point, but maybe this will help you out. Ending the EA background service task is still the best method for the air. Hopefully we will see this fixed in the near future. The Origin app wasn't the best, but it wasn't that bad, especially compared to the new EA app. EA likes to make everything difficult, so I guess we shouldn't be too surprised. Anyway, that's it my friends. Just wanted to share this nice easy fix so you don't need to hunt the forums to find out what you need to do. Wanted to keep this video short, and it looks like we did, so thanks for checking out the video. Hope it helps some users out. Feel free to hit the Discord if you have any issues and I'll do my best to help out. Throw a like up on this if it helped you out, and get subscribed if you want to see more helpful fixes and workarounds. Thanks again, my friends, and we'll see you in the next one.